G'day. Hopefully you're doing very well keeping healthy and safe. I'm doing pretty sweet on this side of the desk. Today we're going to look into the Asus Chromebook Flip CX-5. This is a 16-inch Tumon Chromebook. Now, traditionally, I see in Chromebooks is usually ARM um, processor, but this one here houses the Intel Core 12th Gen, and this one here is the i3, so it's an x86. And boy, you see a bit of a performance boost once I go from ARM to but we have a look at a little bit later on. Now, we're also going to look at some of the features. We'll also do a line genitus, as this does have a garage digital stylus. Fantastic. And have a look at the temperature of the fan noise. Now, this is being a, a tool one. It does have the different modes here. Just quickly, we're in presentation mode. You can get into the good old tent mode here. And then you can also flip this display into your good old traditional clamshell mode as you would like, like to use as a laptop. There is a full size keyboard with the number pad on the right. Now the number pad it does have a bit of a squash keys there, but it is at least nice to see that it's actually got the number pad. So it's great for data entry if you're using that. Now, as for the keys, I would consider them about medium size with a nice sort of texture. It's not like completely smooth, but you got a nice little texture in the surface of each individual key. It's got nice spacing in between and it's very, what I would say, square looking type of keys. And as for the actual travel, we've got quite a bit of key travel and you do have quite a bit of recall on each individual key. It's got a nice little bounce to it and they're relatively quite soft. Now as for the trackpad, I would say this is probably a medium sized trackpad. It is interesting that it's more elongated than actually using the full length being a uh, 3 to 2 ratio, but you do have quite a nice smooth surface overall on it. Now it is mechanical so you can depress it at the bottom and it's hinged at the top and it is multi-gesture as I've tried out and that's the same with the touch controls on Chrome OS. This is a recording from the Tally P webcam from the Chromebook Flip CX-5. This is the video and audio and it's going to hear and see what the color webcam is like. Now I've got a lot of light in my ambient light yeah, but there is not much light here on my face. This is really just reflected light from the ground here which is actually yellow in color at the moment so you'll probably see there's more yellow but what I do find that from just looking at the reflection and actual what, the video that's coming out while I'm recording this is I do find that your colors is a bit warm and also green in tinge for the actual colors as the shirt I'm actually wearing is actually gray in color. Now this is a recording from the 1080p webcam from this Chromebook Flip CX-5. Now I've got a bit of background music, you've got actually blaring at the background right here. I'm actually quite close to the speakers. Now hopefully you see the isolation of my voice into this webcam. If you're actually in a pub or a cafe, this will be a video conference as well. Now it's also raining and a little bit of hailing out there at the moment. So there's actually quite a lot of background music. This is putting the webcam at its full test. Never put a comment below to see how this is going. There are four speakers in the Chromebook Flip CX-5. There are two located above the keyboard and the other two are located on the bottom end on the front on either side of the laptop. Now, when I tested out the maximum volume of the speakers, it managed to measure the maximum of 87.8 decibels, which is considered quite medium loud compared to other laptops, which is good. And as for the sound quality, we do have a bit of bass, but not like really thumping bass, but at least it is there. We've got very strong mids and nice highs. It's balanced towards the mids and we've got nice acoustics and clarity. And as there are two speakers a little above the keyboard, it makes it really nice in the different forms that this Flip CX-5 can transform into either tent mode or tablet mode or even presentation mode or just keep it in clam mode. Looking at temperatures and fan noise, now normally this section and also this test, I usually have an application that helps me out with making consistent workload stress tests to the different components. Now in Chrome OS, I don't have this option, so pretty much I just took free measurements. Now when the computer is idle and when it's pretty much just when you're just working on this computer averagely, it's about the same. And the hottest area around the keyboard measured a maximum of 25 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it was pretty much dead silent, uh, measured in at the same as the ambient room noise, which was at 35 decibels. Now, 
when I put a bit of load on this computer, it's pretty much what I could find was playing games and also doing benchmarks, which hopefully stresses the computer at the maximum it can do. It managed to measure a maximum of 33 degrees Celsius around the keyboard. And as for the fan noise, measured in a maximum of 36 decibels. So it's still practically quiet. You do hear very slightly of the fan moving as you actually do need to put your ears near there. But it's pretty much, I would consider, very silently run. And truthfully, running an i3 in this, it doesn't really produce that much heat in the first place anyway. Now from the part where we just tortured this laptop. So let's do that. Let's go and try and bend the thing. Oh, that doesn't work. Twist it. Ah, that's good. That's pretty rigid there. And pretty much this is pretty much made of aluminum all the way through, which is good. So I've got that very smooth feeling to it. Uh, it does get a little bit of finger marks, unfortunately, but just get a quick wipe and it'll be all good again. Now, before I'm opening it, I'm just gonna do one finger test it so we should see the, how it hinges. And that is smooth the way through until it gets to about, let's say, about 140 or so. And then you do need to actually, this is very normal to have uh, some friction just to get to the next section, which uh, being a, a tool mount, this goes to 360 degrees. Now, while we're here, we might as well just do the quick, let's see how this clamps if it does clamp it does let go yeah, unfortunately it does let it go so this is probably an uh, area imp could be improved on on the hinge just to have a little bit more clamping ability for the side now while we're at it so let's have a look at the keyboard flex and see in this torture oh that's that's got quite a lot of rigidness to it and i think this easily lasts for it now the actual palm rest again it is aluminium so it's got that smooth feel and i don't see this wear and tear much over the long periods of time as this is going to be very good for wear and tear actually uh, it's going to last for a fair bit of time here so definitely a nice build construction i think uh, zeus have done a good job on just the physical side of things there is a garage digital stylus from the left rear of the cx now this garage digital stylus, when it's actually garaged in, only about for 15 seconds should provide about at least 45 minutes of writing, which is absolutely fantastic. Now the actual style of it, as you see, is quite rectangular. Now this is very similar to like a carpenter pencil, and I actually find it's not too bad, and it's got a nice length to it, and there's not really that much weight to it, so quite light. And so there is no buttons to it neither, but while it is garaged in, it is charging the internal batteries of this digital stylus. Now I was going to do the line jitter test. Now again, I'm not a digital artist, so I'm doing my best to do my di diagonal line slowly. Now I am got one hand on the display and it's doing really nice. So the lines actually, I think is really nice on this here. Now I'm gonna do some fast ones here. I'll do some horizontal lines and I'm just doing my best here now. and some quick ones here and I'll just do the parallax test that is quick there's not much slowness quite responsive to the touch of this digital stars and keeping up with the speed of me and I'll do some writing I've only really managed to run two benchmarks and here is the results for PC Mark and 3D Mark. Have you experienced and tested also passing this Chromebook Flip CX5 to my friends and colleagues just to get their feedback? It's generally been a very good experience on the hardware side. Now I think Zeus have actually done actually a great job in implementing this as a Chromebook. It's actually got that a Zeus feel to it for all the hardware. So that's the keyboard. We've got a nice tactile feel and actually just nice feeling to it. We've got a very responsive trackpad and also got a good feeling. I think it's definitely easy to see that it could be very durable and last for a very long time. We've got a good build quality, We've got a nice decent screen here. Speakers have very nice sound quality, but it could be improved. It's gonna compete against the iPads as that's got very nice, decent sound quality. And, but if this is competing against other Android tablets, this will easily win that, no problem in that department there. And you do have a keyboard that's built into it. Now, we actually have a selection of ports here, which a lot of the other Android tablets do not have, and this one does have, so which is actually good there. And we have the web pen, which is pretty, pretty decent. And really, my experience, again, on this 
uh, on this i3, with, even though in Windows it's not the highest of best performer, but here in Chrome OS and this Chromebook, it is actually very snappy. It is very fast. It does actually does very well. I find all the touches and all the commands and all the things I did in opening apps and then just moving around was very responsive, very snappy. I think this i3 is actually a fantastic pairing for this Zeus Chromebook. Now, as for the user experience, that is a different story as that is more from a uh, problem with Google. And I think Google needs to lift up the game from the Chrome OS experience. And just give you a quick disclaimer, I've never worked in an environment that actually is a Chrome OS environment or infrastructure, as that is something that's pretty rare here in Australia. So if you are in a Chrome environment or Chrome OS environment, definitely love to hear what apps you actually do use or how you actually use a Chromebook. Yeah, definitely put a comment below for that there. But for me, I would actually have to rely on the Play Store. Now that Play Store, really you can actually install it with most, of, most of the apps. There are a few apps which does not run on Chrome OS. But overall, those apps that did manage to install, you either get the phone or tablet experience. And that's where it kind of just doesn't feel as nice of pretty much polished as you will expect. As we do have Chrome OS as a different operating environment, it would be nice to have that as some apps who which they run in a native app. And just, just give me that nice little crispiness and just think, well, it still is responsive and it goes all the touch and stuff. That just, just doesn't look as nice. That's what it just feels, doesn't feel as polished. That's for Chrome OS. So I think this is more of a Google thing that just need to fix that up as it just felt clunky. It didn't have that nice full screen experience over there. So that's more of Chrome OS, but overall, I think Azusa does a fantastic job in implementing and doing a Chromebook here. So I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it. If you did, even support my channel, smash that like button for me, share this video, it does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.